Hello, Gary Lodisi here, uh, editor of Paperback Parade magazine and publisher of Gryphon Books with another look into vintage paperback, collectible paperback excess that I think you're going to enjoy. Um, we all know that Tarzan books and the various books written by Edgar Rice Burroughs are very popular and they were published in many paperback editions and all those editions, a lot of, a lot of them are very collectible. But there's uh, one series that was not written by Edgar Rice Burroughs, and that was the Gold Star books. Gold Star books had a series of five books, and uh, they were written by Barton Werper, whoever he may be. Uh, Gold Star published various books uh, in uh, the 19, early 1960s from Derby, Connecticut. And um, they published Hank Jansen's, uh, these Tarzans. They published some sleaze books. They published uh, dime novels of Buffalo Bill and other things. But the, the one series that was uh, pretty interesting was the five book tar new Tarzan series. Um, and these were unauthorized. And uh, when Edgar Rice Burroughs company found out about them, um, they uh, caused them to be called back and destroyed. So these, these books are pretty rare today. Uh, they've been uh, uh, they've been destroyed by the uh, by the publishers, and um, they're uh, pretty hard to find. Um, each book is 126 pages. Each book has I have to put on this secret glasses so I can see. Each book has uh, cover art by by Jack Endewelt, and Endewelt, and uh, cover art isn't so terrific, but uh, it's kind of it's kind of interesting. Uh, Tarzan and the Silver Globe is the first one that was published in 1964. And it says on the back, in search of a fabulous hoard of gold, Tarzan, the legendary king of the apes, visits Opar. This city, built by descendants of the lost continent of Atlantis, lies in a remote African valley. Here he meets the followers, evil creatures of another planet that attempt to diabolically destroy the one man who stands between them and their plans for the earth. With only a handful of devoted Wazari tribesmen and his ape companions, Tarzan struggles against both the extraterrestrial monsters and Opar's green priests. It's kind of uh, science fictional Tarzan uh, and uh, interesting, interesting book. I haven't read any of these. That's why I'm going to give you a, a look at the at the uh, what's what's said on the back covers. The, the the designs on the back covers are the same. So. And without further ado, we'll continue with uh, number two, Tarzan in the Cave City, 1964. A fabulous emerald was, was called the Light of the Night, and many men were willing to risk their lives to get it. In search of the jewel were Wong, Fang, and his hired cutthroat, Magra Task. Before Tarzan defeats this vicious pair, he is captured by King Nanda and Queen Navira of Ando and sentenced to fight lions in the arena. Surviving, he leads his Wazaris and giant apes in the great battle between lost cities. Another cool book in the series. Like I said, I've never read these. I don't know how good they are. I've, I've heard that they're uh, kind of okay, but uh, eventually someday I will read them, but this will give you an idea of, of them. The third book in the series from 1964 is Tarzan and the Snake People. In order to steal the precious radium from the snake people, the evil adventurers Leopold Kennenen and Pierre Sorte set the tribes of the sisters Narda and Lyta against each other, drawn to the bloody war between the humanoids with bodies of snakes and heads of humans is Tarzan, whose wife Jane is held as a hostage by one of the warring tribes. This tale of battle and Tarzan's heroic struggle to shield Jane from an incredibly horrible death makes for the best Tarzan book. Best Tarzan book, even better than uh, Edgar Rice Burroughs. I kind of doubt it. But you can see that there uh, seems to be a uh, serious attempt here to, to, to at least uh, imitate Edgar Rice Burroughs' style. It does say based on some of the characters created by Edgar Rice Burroughs, La of Opar, 
the Wazari and uh, various other uh, characters, you know, Jane, of course, uh, in the Tarzan series of uh, 24, I, I believe, novels are, uh, are present in these books. So the next book is number four, Tarzan and the, Ab and the Abominable Snowmen. On an expedition to find the fabled Abominable Snowmen of Kilimanjaro, Jane and her party are captured by Queen Ak Amana, and banished Egyptian whose sport consists of murdering her aides. Re rescuing Jane, Tarzan too is captured and forced to fight a snowman in the arena. Tarzan's struggle against the beast and Akhenaten's tribe makes for the most exciting book in this series. So the abominable snowman now is on uh, the mountain in uh, Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa, not in the Himalayas, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, the last book in this, in this series, five book series, is Tarzan and the Winged Invaders. For days, Tarzan found half-dead natives, the blood drained out of their veins. At first, suspecting a secret voodoo ceremony, he soon discovers a reason even more horrible and fantastic, a race of heli highly developed mutants requiring a plasma nourishment. Who return from the race, who return, a uh, little bit of a racing car outside, we'll ignore that. A race of highly developed mutants requ requiring a plasma nourishment who return from the far future via time machines. Against this superintelligence, Tarzan pits his great apes and jungle cunning to save his captive wife, Jane, and the rest of our planet's inhabitants. So there you go with the series of uh, five new Tarzan series by Barton Werper. They're very science fictional, obviously, in their, in their uh, story uh, plots, you can see, and uh, gives you an idea of what they're about. They're pretty cool. Again, these were recalled, and uh, the copies were destroyed, so they're... Uh, quite scarce today. They, they go for around 20 to 30 to $40, you know, depending of condition. Uh, and uh, most Edgar Rice Burroughs and Tarzan fans collect them, um, may not uh, think they're such great books. They're uh, Im imitations of the master, and it's always better to read Burroughs. I mean, his, his, his work is, is magnificent. But uh, this is an added... Uh, added kind of thing that uh, some people may not know about and they'd be interested in uh, maybe finding in the, you never know what treasure you'll find when the vintage paperbacks and collectible paperbacks. So I just want to remind you again uh, to please subscribe if you want to see more uh, uh, videos on, on these kind of uh, interesting and uh, cool collectible vintage paperbacks of all types. We're going to go and look at every different type of a genre and style and good girl art, horror, science fiction, crime, hard-boiled and everything. And uh, so subscribe, give us a like, give us a thumbs up, and uh, thanks for looking, and uh, see you next time.